words, spoken words, written words, even words set to music are more powerful than we may realize. Because what you hear will linger and creep into your spirit. So what are you speaking? What are we giving our ears to? Are we speaking words inspired and words aligned to the Bible? Or are we speaking words of contention that bring destruction and a snare to our soul? God tells us in his word that the tongue has incredible power. When you use words the right way, they have the power to move mountains. And equally, if you misuse your words, if you speak without being mindful of your words, they can cause your entire life to go up in smoke. We are told repeatedly in the word of God to be mindful of our words. 1 Peter 3.10 For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Colossians 4 and 6 Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Ephesians 4.29 Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Proverbs 10, 19, In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking, but he who restrains his lips is wise. Proverbs 15, 4, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Proverbs 21, 23, Those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. All throughout the Bible, it's clear that what you say matters. It matters to the Lord. What you say about yourself or over your life matters. David said, Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. And I believe that we all need to pray this prayer. A guard has to be over our lips so that we do not bring unwanted consequences due to the words that we speak. I encourage you today to align your words, align your speech with God's word. There is power in declaring good things over yourself and there is even more power in declaring God's word over yourself. Begin to confess that surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Confess that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that speaks against me in judgment shall be condemned. Make declarations that are in agreement with God's word. Begin to say, I declare that I am released from the spirit of fear, and I have a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and of a sound mind. Begin to declare that I am released from the negativity of the world, because although I am in the world, I am not of the world. Begin to say, I declare that I am released from the spirit of disappointment. I declare that with God, all things are possible. I declare that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In Proverbs chapter 6 verse 2, the Bible says, You have been trapped by what you said, ensnared by the words of your mouth, this verse provides a powerful description about just how influential and forceful your words are and can be. You have been trapped, which is to be confined, to be captured, to be cornered by your words, by your very own words, the Bible says. Your words they matter. 
The Bible said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It never said no weapons will be formed. Weapons will be formed by the enemy, but they will not prosper. Weapons will be formed by the enemy, but they will not affect you in any way, shape, or form. These weapons include words because Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. But then it goes on to say, And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Really get that. Every tongue. Every tongue that rises against you, child of God, you shall condemn. Meaning, you shall denounce. You shall cast it down. So claim your heritage and speak the word of God over your life. Words have impact when you speak. Words can hit someone and destroy them emotionally without you ever touching that person. But words also have life. And child of God, learn how to speak. Learn how to declare. Learn how to claim things into existence. And for those that say, we as people cannot physically create something with our words, so we can't speak things into existence. Don't play with the semantics. Indeed, only God can speak and create, but God has also spoken several promises in the Bible. And as a believer, we can speak those promises into existence concerning our lives. God says, if it aligns itself with my will, if you speak it in my name, if you believe and have faith that I can, then your words can move things in the spiritual realm. Prayers can be answered. When words are spoken in line with the will of God, with the word of God, then healing will happen. Marriages will be restored. Ideas will become a reality. Generational curses are broken. I would like to encourage you to be mindful of your words. What you say matters. What you say has an effect over your life. And the Bible is very clear about this. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. The Bible says the tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 12 verse 18 says, The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. So take mind of what you are saying. May the word of the Lord be the main thing that comes out of your mouth. The word of God is living because it's able to address the deepest needs of every human being at any time or any place. There is always something in the Word of God for every situation. Over and over again the Bible repeatedly tells us in different ways the same message. Words matter. Your words matter. Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. If you begin to speak the Word of God audibly, repeatedly, you will constantly be hearing the Word of God, and that is when faith comes. So if I keep speaking, Romans 8, verse 37. I am more than a conqueror through him that loved me. If I keep speaking, Deuteronomy 28, 13. The Lord has made me the head, not the tail. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. 1 John 4.4 4. Greater is he that's in me than he who is in the world. If I repeatedly declare the word of the Lord, I hear it. My faith grows. My belief grows. The word of God is living. It's true and it's powerful. When we speak his word into our own lives, that's when we can begin seeing the power of words.